Hi ladies, in order to get ready for our spray tan party tomorrow, I wanna to talk a little bit about prepping starting today. So I know a little bit of this is last minute. I don't know your level of uh, com comfortability with spray tanning or how much you've done it, but I wanted to give you a quick tutorial of a few things that I would like you to do tonight and tomorrow to prep for the spray tan. Now, I know that we are doing this great party. Thank you, Kelly, at a discounted rate, but I want you to keep in mind that this type of luxury spray tan is typically like 80 to $90. So I want you to think of your spray tan as an investment, like protect the investment. The reason why Kelly's spray tans look so flippin' amazing for so long is because she takes such good care of her skin. So it's all about the pre-tan, the post-tan, and the maintenance. So. Today, since we're having the party tomorrow, today, um, I want you to do a few things when you are at home tonight, okay? So number one, you don't have to do this, but these are called dry brushes. So one of the things that I do pretty regularly is you use this on your dry skin before you get into the shower. So it gets like all the dead skin cells off, you know, it's really good with getting the, uh, the blood flowing. It doesn't feel great. Uh, if you don't have one of these, or maybe you have a, a boyfriend, husband, or whoever that has a beard, this is a man's beard brush, right? Like these work the exact same way, okay? So if you have a dry brush or the ability to do that, do that tonight when you get home from work before you get in the shower. So next thing, when you are showering today, I want you to shave everything that you need to shave. We are not shaving tomorrow. You have to do it today. And I want you to exfoliate the crap out of yourself. So let's talk about exfoliation, what to do and what not to do, all right? Some of you might have something like this, like a sugar scrub. A lot of women have these in the shower. If you have something like this, please do not use it because these sugar scrubs have like an oil and it leaves a film on your skin. So if you were to do this two days before a spray tan, that's legit. But the day before, this type of thing is not good. So what I would like you to do is if you don't already have one, what you need is an exfoliating mitt. I personally like white ones because you can see where it comes off. So these mitts work with um, friction, so you don't need any soap. So you're gonna clean your skin, do all the things you need to do, shave, and the last thing you do before you get out of the shower, once your skin is all soft, is I want you to exfoliate your entire body with a mitt. No loofahs, none of that crap works. So these are about five bucks. I think this one was at, Am uh, this one was at Target. Um, but again, they work with friction, so I don't want you using any soap. So most people will exfoliate the things they're used to exfoliating, right? Our feet, because gross, you know, nobody wants gross feet, uh, elbows and knees. However, there's more that I want you to do. So please do not forget, here are the places that are the most important for you to exfoliate. I want you to make sure you're exfoliating your neck, the sides of your neck, all the way down your chest and between your breasts underneath here, okay? This is where we sweat the most, our pores are pretty big, and what will happen is the spray tan will settle into your pores and not look great. So we want the best outcome. You also want to uh, make sure you exfoliate the back of your hands. I always do the back of the hands, the sides, but especially your inside wrists and all up and down your arm because the creases where our body, this spray tan will actually like get caught in the, in the creases and such. Um, so neck, chest in between, body here, do all that. I also want you to exfoliate your armpits really, really well. And Kelly can tell you why, okay? Because we get so much buildup from deodorant. When I spray tan Kelly for the first time, it literally turned her armpit green. And it was because of the deodorant residue. Now it went away after a day, but we do not want this. So when you shower tonight, um, make sure you do exfoliate, you know, under your arms as much as you can. And um, I beg of you not to use lotion, okay? Now, if you're one of those people that like your skin gets really dry and really itchy, if you don't use lotion, um, that's fine. I, I would challenge you to like wait an hour because the itching will probably go away. Um, I showered and exfoliated today and I haven't used any lotion and my skin feels fine. Um, but if you have to use a little lotion because it'll make you feel comfortable going to bed, please stick with the CeraVe's and the lotions that are basically for uh, sensitive skin 
because all sensitive skin lotions don't have harsh ingredients that will not be good for your skin and will erode the spray tan or actually cause a barrier uh, so that the tan doesn't, you know, soak in. Um, but also, uh, you know, I have clients that have like eczema and things like that. So if you're going to use lotion, please be sparing and uh, make sure that it is sensitive skin lotion. So if you are a waxer and you have not waxed, do not wax. Okay, waxing has to be done a week before a spray tan, shaving and exfoliating 24 hours before because we want our, you have to give your skin 24 hours to kind of rejuvenate itself. Okay, um, I learned that lesson the hard way. One time I waxed and exfoliated and spray tan the same day and I broke out in acne. So we don't want that. Okay, so avoid lotions, deodorants, scrub the heck out of yourselves. And I will post another quick video to talk about like what to expect. See you soon.